Hey everybody and welcome to a tutorial on a boat. If you watch my uh, single player world, then you've seen me use this before. It's just a simple boat, but uh, if you're building in an area with some water or a just really any like docking area, then I really like throwing these in. I think they add quite a bit. They're pretty easy to make and I'll walk you through how to make them over there on that section without any water. But let's just fly around it really quick. As you can see, I use it for cargo. I like to throw hay on there, like they're transporting hay. I don't know, maybe you can put something else on there, like cobble. If they're importing or exporting cobble, great timing for the rain. Something that I like about this design that I don't see in many other places is that this mast is its made to look like it's rolled up. Like... It's not going anywhere. It's docked. It's not supposed to catch wind. So I have it rolled up. And you could easily design it so that the mass is down. But this is the way that I've been using it. And maybe you can use it like that too. So to make it, you can change the length if you want. But we're going to make it in a 9 by 2 base. So where this wool is, I'm just going to put down some oak wood. You can use whatever wood you want. And we're going to be using full blocks here now out of the water it's not going to look as as good but underwater you want to use full blocks because if you use a half slab you're going to get that uh that water texture or that animation so it's better off to just not have that and use full blocks next you're going to put upside down stairs all the way around this except for on the front just like this and that's going to give you the shape that we're going to start with now to do the front here we're going to start with two full blocks positioned right there kind of like where those stairs were except we're using full blocks and then we're going to place stairs facing inwards one block out from that On top of those stairs, we're going to place half slabs. Then we're going to bring another full block made up one half slab up from there. And then we're going to bring that out just a little bit more. And that's going to be the front end of our ship. Now this looks pretty boring. So we're going to raise up this back part, the back three blocks are going to be raised up one half slab. You can see it's starting to give it a little bit of a banana shape. Now the mast. For this, I used two side-by-side -side fence, and I used a different color because if you use the same color, it's just not going to stick out. You want something that's going to contrast a little bit. And I placed it right in the middle. If you place it too far forward, uh, it kind of looks a little funny. It, and if you same if you place it too far back it just doesn't look balanced so we're going to put it right in the middle now if my counting is right i brought those up eight fences and it is so then we're going to bring out the mast four blocks uh not counting these two center blocks that are right in front of that those fence and you could maybe go another wider if you wanted. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, you could easily go another wider and it'll look fine. If you go any shorter, then I don't think it's going to look very good. Now I like to put some uh, benches up front, and I like to use the same material that that was made out of. You could maybe use a different kind of wood, but it should definitely be different than this oak that we used to make it stick out a little bit. And then in the back... You can, like I said, you can use, you could probably find other things to use. You could maybe use logs like this. And the way that I did the hay is that I alternated the direction that it went like that. Now, personally, uh, I don't like that. Maybe if importing wood is something that you want to bring into your world, into the, the story that you're, that you're building around, 
then that would make sense. Personally, I like hay because that bright yellow really contrasts. Okay, so I position those hay bales and I'll fly around so you can see uh, the orientation that I place them in. And then I threw some ladders and rails on top of them. These back ones, maybe you want to get rid of, I don't know. Uh, but I put them over the top. If you put them here, then it's going to do that with the rails. But I think this is fine. Not everything needs to be built with symmetry. So it's okay that this isn't right in the middle. But if you were building this ship maybe 10 wide, then that would give you a middle section for this uh, stack of hay. And then you could make it symmetrical if that's what you want. The last thing that I like to do is use these trap doors on the sides just like this. And these are 1.9 trap door mechanics. So if you're still playing in 1.8, then I don't believe that they're going to place like this. But uh, the way that I did over here is that I put one on these full blocks here, a space of one, and then I did them every three blocks, just like that. So as you can see, without water, uh, the bottom of this boat does look a little funny. But when you do put water in there, it, it, it won't look so uh, misshapen. If for whatever reason you wanted the bottom to look better, maybe there's a mod out there that gets rid of that animation when you place either stairs or slabs, then you might want to either change these to stairs or maybe change the whole thing to slabs. So this is the way that I've been building them and just throw a few of these into your waters next to your towns and your cities, uh, put them next to docks, put a fence up near them and make it look like they're tied up somehow. Uh, I wish that ropes could tie to other ropes but because that would look pretty cool. But if you did want to put this out on the sea, you could easily make this look like it was actually sailing. Just pull this down. I would probably do it in a pattern about like this. Now, looking at it like this, I'm going to say that we want to trim these down one on the side because it, the proportions just don't look right the way that we are. If you remember, we brought those out one more than we did on that side. I think that looks a little bit better. And in fact, if you're going to bring up, if you're going to bring down the sail, then I would say maybe even bring up the whole thing another block or two. The way that I really like building these is like this. If you're going to build something with a sail, then I would probably go with a bigger ship uh, than just the 9 by 2 base that we started with. So I did bring up this sail an extra two blocks. And if that's what you want, then this is probably how I would go with it. It does look better. I would maybe even extend the length or the rather the height of the sail down one more. Let's see how that looks. And I think that is going to be our winner. So if you're going to have something out on the sea, this is probably what I would do. If you're going to have something at the docks, which is what I designed this for, then this is what I would do. Now, just to show you what it looks like in the John Smith Texture Pack, which is what I did create this design in, uh, I used, you could either use regular white wool or light gray wool for this. And the reason I like those is because these brown things make it look like they're actually being tied up. Now, for this, you're going to want to use maybe the gray wool maybe black, probably gray, or even a version of this texture pack that doesn't have these brown lines. But if you're using it like this, then I would definitely consider using these. It makes it look like it's tied up, like it's in a bundle. So that's what I've got for you today. I like to build these realistic boats in my worlds, and I'm trying to come up with a few more ideas so I can have a variety of them. And this is the first one that I came up with. It's quick and easy to make you know it's not extravagant not all boats are it's just like a regular small business boat and that's what I really like about it maybe next time I'll come up with something that's a little bit bigger and can haul more stuff but for this episode this is what I've got so if you liked it then leave a like and subscribe thank you for watching bye